there's one thing I know for certain. This is a woman with an extensive beauty regime. She pencils her mole into a beauty mark. She blushes and blushes, paints on her eyebrows, then her eyelashes. She grabs her oils to prevent turkey neck, hairspray, and then she douses herself in perfume and applies generously. But her ultimate beauty secret is sugar. Lots and lots of sugar. Barbara Crawl is an addict. She's what we call a secret sugarholic. One day, when Barbara needed a little pick-me-up, the candy ran out. I wanted candy! Oh, God! <sighs> it was going to be a long road to recovery. In fact, it would take her nine steps. But first, Barbara needed to admit one thing. That she had a problem. She was so hungry for some candy, she had to tap into her hidden candy bar stash. And although she enjoyed it, one bar just wasn't enough. It's safe to say this was rock bottom. After trying to sneak away with two candy bars, Barbara finally admitted she had a problem. She found some support in the form of a book. This tree only has 35 calories, so she was already doing a lot better. Recovery is all about moderation. She replaced sugar with salt and detoxed with potato chips. All while still educating herself. They say sugar sobriety can lead to cravings like milk. Go, Barbara, go. She got into a new groove. She ate some carrots, was feeling motivated, did some boxing, attempted another type of workout, went back to boxing, and found her new mantra. Get that fat off. Get that fat off. Oh, my God. Oh, I did all I can do. They say this step feels like you're walking on air. And recovery was going really well. Until she drank the green juice. When the carrot didn't help, oh. she chased it with some M&Ms. Now, some might call this a relapse. She calls it step seven. And just like that, her life was in order. She contemplated not eating it. She really did. Then realized it still had the wrapper on it. Besides, the more sugar you eat, the more beauty you gain. She's a sugarholic. Yum.